How to import products from CJ Dropshipping to Etsy. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in this step-by-step -step tutorial. So if this video helped you out, please do let me know in the comments, but let's get started right away. So obviously for this, you need your Etsy store and also CJ Dropshipping. Well, I have a direct link in the description, which will bring you over to CJ Dropshipping right over here. And then you can create an account uh, on here as well. Um, if you do it via my link, that will also help me out greatly. So let's get started. Over here, you have my CJ. So you want to click on there. And then you want to scroll a bit down on the left where you see store authorization. And here you want to click on Etsy right over there. And once you've clicked on there, you should see you haven't authorized any stores yet. So you want to click on add store right over here. And once you have clicked on there, you'll be brought to this page over here. You want to make sure that this is the correct email that you have from your Etsy store. And then you want to scroll a bit down and you can actually uh, read all of this. This is basically what it will uh, give access, what you will have to give access to CJ dropshipping. Yeah, if you're fine with that, you can grant access. And there you go. You will end up seeing this authorization success. Now we have already connected our CJ dropshipping to Etsy, which is pretty easy, right? And if you actually want to import products, then you want to go to any product you would like to. So let's say I were to go to, for example, um, office and school supplies, and then scroll a bit down to find something. For example, this random pen over here uh, looks pretty cool, actually. But um, yeah, here you have a couple of options. So you have connect, list, and blah, blah, blah. Now, the most important options, in my opinion, are connect and list. Um, these two are actually different. So if you hover over on connect, it says click connect if the product already exists in your store to establish a product connection for automatic order fulfillment. So let's say I already had manually like added this product in my store, but I hadn't yet made an, a connection with CJ Dropshipping. When, so when someone buys it from my store, it will automatically be bought from CJ Dropshipping as well. Um, so then you can actually click on connect to connect it. If you want to completely like add it uh, immediately and also make a connection, then you want to click on list and this just lists this whole product in your store. So before we actually click on there, here you have the shipping method where you want to look out for. Uh, it now says that the estimated delivery time is 18 to 35 days. So over here you have the total shipping cost right over there and also the delivery time. And if you, for example, scroll a bit down, this one doesn't even have that many shipping methods now that I look at it. But here you actually have, for example, six to 10 days. It's uh, 680. It's a little bit more expensive than that one, but at least it is way faster. So you can keep that one in mind. And once you are happy with that, you can actually click on list. And then at the top, you want to make sure that you select the right store because I also have like a Shopify store connected. So make sure to select your Etsy store. Then here you have a ship from option. Well, this only has the China warehouse, but sometimes some products are, are also in the United States warehouse. So you can choose which uh, warehouse you want to ship it from. And then here is where you can actually select your shipping method. So I'll will go with this one, which is way faster and, and just a little bit more expensive. And then here is where you want to um, put in your price. So you can choose your own price if you would like to. Um, so here is the total drop shipping cost. So this is uh, so you got to base it off of that. You also actually have a recommended listing price, which is pretty cool as well. And then it will give you that. Now, I personally like to at least do something like this, for example. So you have actually a nice price. And if you're happy with that, then you can actually click on list it now. You actually do need to fill in a couple of tags. Sorry, I forgot about that. So I'll just add some. I just added like uh, two tags real quick. You can also add that uh, later here in your shop. But um, yeah, now I'll just click on list it now and it will probably say, oh, it actually doesn't. Sometimes it will say that the title of the product is way too long. Then you can change that real quick. But now it's basically says listed successfully. So that's great. Now we can actually go back, refresh real quick and then go to listings. 
and it should pop up right here yes there we go as you can see this is our product now here is the title we can still change it however we would like to here are the pictures this is the description and i hope this video helped you out uh, leave a like and let me know in the comments if it helped you out and i'll see you next time